So for about two months now, the future Trunks arc has been on the air in Japan. It started way back in June 12th of this year, and everybody was hyped for it. And so far, the arc, in my opinion, has been the best part of Dragon Ball Super. I think it's had the best development. I think it's had the best overall story. It's got that mystery factor to it. I'm really enjoying it. And I really want to discuss kind of what we've seen so far and where we think it's going. Joining me here today... Uh, Nobody on earth, as I've said before, is more qualified to talk about Trunks than this person uh, who has a PhD in future Trunks, and actually in all Trunks. Um, please welcome back from Temple O Trunks, Mary. Cool, hey. <laughs> it's good to be back. All right. Let's talk about the Trunks arc uh, so far, okay? Trunks arc began with episode 47, and right now we're, we just finished off episode 53, so we're about six episodes in. And, you know, I don't know how long this arc is actually going to last, but I want to ask you, okay, last time we got together, it was right before the beginning of episode one. Now we've, you know, we're already knee deep into this thing. I want to know what were your initial reactions to that first episode? Like, what did you, did you think that the buildup was right? Like, what were your initial thoughts watching it? It was almost a sense of disbelief because... You know, we go into this thing, like you said, with so much hype and, you know, there's so much stuff we'd like to see them do, but are they going to actually pull it off? Are they actually going to go there? And I think from beginning on episode one, it was very much a sense of, oh my gosh, they're actually doing this, like what they did to certain characters. I don't know how much you want me to spoil things, but... Um, well, no, we're going to go into deep spoilers. Yeah, anybody okay. who has not seen these episodes, um, you've been warned. We're going to talk... We're going to go into it. Go ahead. All right. So, Bulma. Right. So, they went there. They Crazy. They kill her off. And, and that's where it was like, oh, they are not pulling any punches. And that is fantastic. And I think it was almost a sense of denial about how awesome it was. Because, you know, you kind of go into it with, um, I, I guess, cautious optimism. Hoping that it's going to be good and, and better than what Super had been up to this point. And episode one was very promising. And I, I really feel like uh, it really set a good pace. You know, and I agree. And I thought the Bulma thing was really shocking because uh, Super has kind of been much more lighthearted uh, than the previous Dragon Ball series. We haven't gotten like a big shocking death. I mean, if you go back to DBZ, Goku, the main character, was killed in the fifth episode of the series. And, uh, you know, it was just dark from the, from the hop. Uh, you know, but with, with Super... Like you said, we saw you know that, and then we saw, of course, the big reveal of this mysterious Goku Black, and then Episode Forty Eight had that epic fight between Trunks and Black. Um, now, okay, what did you think about the shift in tone? Because we had Sumitomo come in, create some brand new compositions. I really love the Goku Black theme he came up with, and the we had a new kind of um, recap music. Like, did you think that that was it was the right time now? I think so. I think we were. Um, desperately awaiting some contrast because I think going into another arc of just more of the same would um, not really do the series any favors at this point. So I think it was a, a shift in the right direction and and musically and even with the color scheme of just going from the present to the future, just that really distinct contrast I think is working wonders. I think it's definitely right time for all of this. Absolutely. It cannot... Happen at a better time. Now, you did a Konzenshu podcast where you talked about the, um, you and Mike talked about the blue hair. And I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. now that it's been, a, you know, it's been a few weeks since then. Yeah. Uh, does it at all affect you? I mean, the, the thing with me is, it really doesn't, but I do find it weird that they're actually going back and somewhat retconning it. Because we saw, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Gohan flashback, you know, when Trunks was... You know, younger, and it was the whole history of Trunks uh, story. I guess you can call it the TV special, and they recolored his hair for that. Do you think that's going too far, in your opinion? Does it not matter? Um, to answer your first question, I'm not affected by it, which is which is interesting. I thought I would be, but I'm surprised at myself for how quickly I was able to adapt to it, as if it were normal all along. So, so that's that's good. It's not. It's one less thing to get hung up on, which which I'm, I'm happy about. Um, as for going back and recoloring stuff, I have to say I did not see that coming. I think it's a um, an extra step that they could have maybe done without just to save time and some money. But hey, if they want to make it consistent to fit their narrative, then 
That's their prerogative. All right. Now, what do you think about the trunks in my shipping? Not just in the future, but what do you think they're doing with uh, with this whole kind of like Mize? Like, I find it very entertaining. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> it is so, right. I mean, like we were talking about just a couple of moments ago. I mean, the, the shift in tone is so dark, so dramatic. And to have this lighthearted gag recurring, we can, we can safely say it's a recurring gag at this point, thrown into the mix is really very welcome and very unexpected. I mean, the fact that they're doing something with Mai is just uh, my hand, my hat's off to them. It's it's very original, and just playing off of what we've seen in the movie so far, I think, is a nice um, extra bit of consistency and and pulling that thread through to what we're seeing with Super right now. I think it's been delightful, and and every single time they appear together, they just keep chipping away at. It's something else to like just make her more <laughs> absurd and it is absurd i think i think that's the best way i can describe it it's hilariously absurd i love it it's just so funny that you have you know a 40 something year old woman in the body of like a I guess 13, 14 year old kid who's in love with the future version of this kid who is her age and her body, but not her age and her spirit. Like she, it's like her her soul is perfectly fit for future trunks, but her body is fit for kid trunks. I, I feel right. it's just it's wacky. like it, it's such a good almost sci-fi wacky hijinks um, plot point that I feel. Um, is ripe for the DBZ, well, not DBZ, uh, Dragon Ball Universe. Yeah, and, and let me ask you this one, because I've seen this a lot, uh, about Goku Black. Do you think, what we've seen so far, do you think that Goku Black is the best, I mean, I think in Super, he's probably the best villain. Do you think that he's one of the best villains in Dragon Ball? Like, do you put him up there close to Frieza and close to King Piccolo? Or do you think it's too soon to say that? I think it might be a little too soon, only because he's got the biggest um, number of question marks at this point. Which I like. I mean, like you said in your intro, um, it's a level of mystery that we haven't seen yet. And he's bringing it on. And I think... That is fantastic. It's really cool being a fan in 2016 and not having all the answers. I think waiting on the edge of your seat week after week after week, um, or maybe in some cases every other week, it, it's cool. It, it, I finally feel like we are all in the same boat across the world. That being said, we don't know what this guy's deal is. Is he a puppet? Is he thinking of his own free will? So it's kind of hard to know how evil he is just yet. I mean, yo, him killing Trunks' mom, though, like... Yeah! Oh, jeez. Like, I, I did a, another... Uh, I did a video talking about who should be the guy to take out Black, uh, and I put a poll up. It was Goku, Vegeta, and uh, Trunks. And, of course, they all have their equal reasons of, of, of wanting to get the big W, but I think Trunks has the most reason, because even though it's Vegeta's wife from the future, even though it's not really the same Vegeta, but whatever, it's Trunks' mom, and I felt that... When this whole thing is said and done, maybe Trunks doesn't kill the guy, but he has to at least get like a measure of revenge. I remember oh, one, yeah. somebody sent me this idea. They said, wouldn't it be great if Trunks like beat the hell out of Black and then Mai came in with the shotgun and just blew his head off? And I'm like, dude, that's a great finish, but that's too way too much for Dragon Ball. <laughs> that is way too much. We'll leave that one to uh, you know the fanfic authors out there. Right? Seems too violent. Now, how do you think they've been handling Trunks' interaction with characters like Gohan, like 18? Oh, man. This yeah. is the icing on the cake. It is above and beyond Vegeta. my best expectations. And like I said, I, I go into this older and wiser and having tempered expectations thinking, okay, you know, I just want it to be entertaining. I just want it to be not crappy. It is so solid and every single interaction is on point on character they're delivering the goods in a way that i think fans have wanted especially with the number 18 stuff we we were speculating like are they gonna go there are they gonna go there oh my god they're going there yes i cannot yes. believe it um everything is just solid and to be honest i mean something with vegeta yeah i think we're all kind of hoping for something um, interactions with the usual gang members, you know, Goku, everything. Um, the interactions with Gohan, I think, was something that maybe they didn't necessarily have to do, but when they did, it was kind of like, 
Oh, we're, we're moving both characters along here. Okay, I, I get what they're doing here. I think it's just been absolutely solid character development, top to bottom. I felt like the Gohan thing was done, because when I watched that episode, I thought what they were trying to do was that they were trying to give Trunks the role of being the audience. And Yeah, that's a great way of thinking about it. Right? And then, like, because there's a lot of Gohan fans, and as you know, a lot of these Gohan fans have been wanting Gohan to go back to what he was in Z, specifically the Cell game. They want that badass Gohan. My argument's always been, well... He's not his father. He, he's a badass, but for different reasons. You know, uh, he, he's a family man now. He's civilized now. And I think that the purpose of that episode was to tell the audience, look, if future Trunks can accept that this timeline's version of his mentor is like this, you need to accept it too. That's honestly the way I took that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Trunks is a good proxy for the audience. He's also kind of um, the lens of seeing this new world almost for the very first time, or the first time in a while. So in that sense, he's um, very much acting like the audience here, like, oh, wait, Krillin set settle down with number 18. Oh, okay, I, I guess I need to accept this. Gohan settling down. Okay, if this is what he wants, I'm happy too. Right. Uh, and, and what's cool about Trunks being that, that um, narrator almost is the fact that he is so accepting of his environment Despite the fact he just got put through the emotional ringer. He just got his mom killed. You know, his partner just got killed. Although, I guess that is up to debate. I don't, um, I don't <laughs> think she's dead. <laughs> no, yeah. she, I, she has something right. going on there. But he, he doesn't have to give a shit. Any normal person would be huddled in a corner, rocking back and forth in a fetal position. Like, oh God, please, I just stop the world. I want to get off. But he's living his life the best he can and is... Happy for his friends, and I think that is true to his character. I totally loved. I don't know if you picked up on this one, but when they had the Trunks Vegeta training, and uh, Trunks goes into his grade three form for like two seconds, and for like two seconds he gets all buff, and his hair is exactly the same as it was during the self fight. And I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. this was such fan service. They only did that just for so people could say, "Hey, I remember that look." And then he quickly just gets out of it. Um, and I loved how he tells his dad, uh, "Oh well, uh, Goku no." Super Super Saiyan 3 and then Vegeta has that real Horikawa nailed it he has that laugh like <laughs> and then he goes right into blue and he's like Super Saiyan blue. <laughs> it's so good oh it was awesome like was they fantastic. get the characters yeah now what do you think about Zamasu go what do you think about the God hierarchy expanding um, in your opinion like because this arc has really added so many new stuff at Dragon Ball like I've been trying to put together uh, I've been trying to for for a while put together like a god hierarchy guide but they just keep adding to it they make it so confusing um you know what that's the one aspect of this arc where i am admittedly turning my brain off a little bit because i am so hyper focused on trunks's character arc i'm not really i i think i need to go back and rewatch the last two episodes to be honest but um if the characters are good and they're interesting and fun to watch then i'm fine with whatever direction they want to take this in. But at this point, it's a little bit hard to swallow just because I feel like they keep expanding and keep expanding. What else can we do? Yeah, the one thing that threw me off was in the last episode, they stated that uh, they recently had a new time ring. And the whole thing is that, okay, well, when Trunks goes through time, he creates a new time ring. So there's a time ring for every new timeline. And that's like a whole new thing because now it's like, okay, what does this mean? And, and yeah. Oh, it's confusing. Do you think, all right, I'm going to put you on the spot because mm -hmm. everybody in this community has their own theory. Uh, you've obviously are, are, have been around forever. Uh, so I feel picking your brain adds a little bit more weight. Do you think Zamasu is black at this point? Or do you think that he's somehow linked to black? Oh, they're definitely linked together in some form or another. I mean, I feel like between the earrings and now the rings and even just that, that bit of animation and just the opening sequence. The music. They oh, had the same gosh. music. It's, it's, I want to see how they get there because at this point I'm not seeing it, but that's what makes the journey so fun. But without a doubt, they have to be connected. Now, even though we haven't seen it in the anime yet, 
Um, we had the pink hair thing happen on Amazon. Um, Devil's Corpse talked about it on the Consensu board. Kaboom talked about it. Uh, it's now been confirmed through the episode leaks. It's going to be called uh, Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, have you seen the picture? I'm oh, guessing. Oh no, you have. I, I have not. This is news to me. Did I ruin? The, <laughs> did I just ruin the show for you? No, no, not at all. I, 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 I am feel not up on now. my news. I am. You know what? In an age where I say. No, we're all watching it together. I'm not going to say I actively avoid spoilers because I think that's next to impossible. But at the same time, I don't go out of my way to stay too, too current with the episode titles and whatnot. Um, oh, I feel but, guilty now. But oh, just... that's okay. You know what? Out of context, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. It's okay. just another other term. So you're good. You're good. Okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to do geez. my homework, clearly. No, I literally thought that like, I'm like, oh, great. That I just ruined Because I don't know what's going to happen. Blah. I don't know what's going to happen, but th there is a leaked character design or whatever. Um, but we're going to – there's stuff that's going to happen. All right, whatever. We'll, we'll talk right. about that in the future. But um, I have a concern I wanted to discuss with you before we get out of here about this Trunks thing. This has been the best arc of Super so far in my opinion, mm -hmm. right? Um, I, I'm worried though because it looks like the way that this is being structured, the way it's being padded out – I'm concerned that this is going to end sooner than I expected, that we all want it to, because even though the characters have been really interesting and Trunks is back and everything's cool, it seems like they're just building up to the eventual, we're going to go back to the future, it's going to be Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks against Black, it's three on one, which is going to be, you know, obviously in Dragon Ball they fight one on one, but it takes away from the drama, plus we've also got... Beerus, Whis, we've got the Omni King who can blow up universes. So that, to me, that kind of—I don't know how you feel about this, but I think it somewhat takes a little bit away from the drama. Because if you've got a guy like the Omni King who's so incredibly strong, then you kind of wonder, okay, well, what what do they have to fear? Like if he's friends with Goku, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I hope these these characters and the expansion of the the God hierarchy doesn't result in this arc being too sped up or, or ending prematurely. I mean, I guess the only thing we have to go on is the length of episodes for the prior arcs. Yep, um, yep. So I don't know how consistent they've been with their number of episodes, and, um, you know, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I hope that they take this opportunity to really let the story build organically and not just hey, we're going to end it at a certain point just because it has to fill a number of spots on the home release. Yeah. That, that would be, that would be yep. so lame when everyone is really digging this arc so far. Um, I hope it's all just not um, a sudden shift from this great build-up, great lead-in to learning about who these characters are, what their motivations are, to... Okay, let's quickly get into a fight. I think we need to get from point A to point B um, with a little bit more time padded out so that we really feel that that weight of the the eventual fight at yeah the very end no i agree with you and i think the other concern is that they're just going to go to the future and fight black and then that's it i i kind of want this story to go back to how the cell arc was where you know you had like your peaks and your valleys you know trunk yeah. shows up say right saves goku goku fights 19 uh then 17 18 show up then they all lose then cell shows up so it goes up and down up and down like I, that's what i miss about dragon ball and I, I gotta be honest with you mary i think supers dropped the ball on it i think Battle of Gods and Resurrection F as stories work, I think, in the context of movies because they're shorter stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and obviously, Universe 6 is just a tournament. But this actually has some stakes. And oh, I, it's they need such to a good it. opportunity. Yes. I really hope they take it. Yes, I, I, I agree. What do you think? Right now, we're halfway through. Well, maybe not halfway through, depending on how long it is. We're a few episodes through the arc. Uh, 47 to 54 is... Um, that's like what, like nine or no? That's that's not nine. It's like seven episodes, I think, right around there. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the happiest ending for Trunks? Like, what do you think they could do? Like, I, I've heard somebody say they could use the Super Dragon Balls to wish everybody in the future back to life, and then we have a fixed timeline. Do you think that's a good oh, solution? Oh, I, I do. I mean, it's a little bit um, simple, but I think that's what that timeline needs, and I think that's what he deserves. For after everything that he's been through. Um, certainly, I don't think it makes logical sense for him to stay with the gang in the present. I think that would just be 
weird, although it makes for some like really, really hilarious moments between him and his family. But I think, um, yeah, you know, making use of the um, the super Dragon Balls is a fantastic way to bring back that element so it doesn't feel so much like a dropped plot point. I think that's a, a great idea. And we've seen so many of those. Like, we saw Golden Frieza, so we're like, okay, maybe we'll see Golden Frost. Nope. You know, we've seen, you know, Shampa, and then, you know, that's it. We haven't seen him since. There's a lot of stuff they haven't come back to. Uh, what I think they should do, and this is Toei just being kind of like, oh, like, wasted potential, is I've always felt that Toei needs to treat you know, Dragon Ball a little bit more like Marvel does with their properties or even or Disney does with Star Wars. What and what I mean by that is I think it would be great if and again this is just stuff in my head that I think about once in a while. If, you know, Trunks gets his issue resolved, Trunks and Mai get married in the future, then they have a kid, and then that's you take the the story of future Trunks, Mai, and the kid that's a spinoff. A oh, tour, yeah. Right? Yeah, like from a, a marketing perspective, that that is gangbusters right there. Think about oh. that. You've got Super Running and then you've got the Trunk story in two separate, like, spinoffs. Although, you know what? Now that they're, um, oh, my gosh, I can't, my husband would kill me. Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever publication, um, they're doing something else. They're doing some kind of spinoff with. You're um, talking about Psycho, time, psycho Junk. Yeah, yeah, Psycho yeah, Junk. Yeah, they're yeah. doing something with Time Patrol Trunks. So I think. They got the right idea of making use of this character from a franchise perspective. But as far as what Super can do, yeah, I like the whole family angle. That would be great. I mean, I just feel Super's kind of, like, giving us so much cool stuff. Like, I want, like, I want spinoffs. I want the Kaba story. I want him to have his own special. Mm -hmm. I would love to go to that metallic planet, that Magetta came from. I would love the Assassin Hits Adventures. There's just they could be putting out like six they can do or specials. S- they can do like yeah. one-offs. That's what so, I'm saying. Money making game. Let's do it. They gotta take a page out of Disney and just be as as utterly. Disney's putting out uh, another release of Star Wars in October now with an extra commentary track just to milk the hardcore. Oh man, see they gotta think more like. Uh, you know, the American the entertainment machine. I hate to say it, but you say you come from a marketing st- background. I know, yeah, You, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Exactly. That's why I was so jazzed when you said, yes, um, offspring, go off and do your own thing, new story. Go. That would be that would be great. And then you have Trunks and Mai's kid. Like, who would have thought of this, like, back when we were all watching the I old know, series? Right? I don't think Toei's that clever. And that sucks. Yeah. That sucks. It really is bad when a lot of the fans, and we have a lot of creative people that we talk to um, in the, on the Konzenshu board, you know, obviously on YouTube. I've seen some really smart people come up with some really great ideas, and I just feel like, damn, like I wish, for real, I wish you guys worked there. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your overall thoughts on the Trunks art before we get out of here? So far, it is, so oh, far. It, it is such a great time to be a fan again. Um, my passion for this character has been reignited in just the excitement of what are they going to do with this character next? Who are they going to have him interact with? Is he going to play hero some more? Is he going to get knocked down a few pegs? I don't know. Um, I never thought in my wildest dreams I could ever have a continuing story with Trunks. I mean, I I look at my own life as a fan and Temple of Trunks was, you know, I can put it in a little time capsule, so to speak, and say, okay, that was straight up 1998 through 2000, whatever. And it was great for what it was. You know, I don't need to expand on that universe. It's fine. It is because the story was over, you know, I mean, not counting time patrol Trunks, which I was doing a very poor job of following, but now this happens and I feel like a kid again. This is, fantastic um i can't wait to see what else they do with the story with him with all the surrounding characters i think the gods Uh, yeah the gods i mean there's just the universe has expanded for the better finally and i can't wait to see what they do with it yeah and i really do hope that it is really good i don't i really don't want goku to just go to the future and they all beat him like that's not i that if black's gonna be this legendary villain he's got to figure out a way to get out of it like he's got to figure out a way to even if goku is stronger than him right now he has to figure out some way to be a sneaky bastard you know and 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 escape to another timeline or something you know there's just there's so much potential and i hope they actually 
fulfill it. You know what we I mean? We want that. We want that good follow through. We don't want a cop out ending because it's been so strong up to this point. I think we deserve something solid. Yeah, it's the best arc I think so far in Super. Without I mean, a doubt. Yeah. All right, everybody, check out Mary. Where can people find you? What's the best, most frequent place I guess to get in contact with you <laughs> that would be Twitter you can find me at um, Temple O Trunks all one word uh, on Twitter I'm starting to be a little bit more active on my Tumblr account that's also um, Temple of Trunks and I put the occasional um, action figure <laughs> photos of uh, Bubba, Trunks, Trunks. Uh, Bubba Trunks up on uh, my Instagram <laughs> account that's also Temple O Trunks I saw that Mike picked up that Fist of the North star set really cheap, and I was like... Oh, my like, God. I am so excited to watch that. And then, because we hadn't put it away yet, it was just sitting on the table. I was like, oh, 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 don't put that away yet. I need to pose Bubba Trunks with this because it is Shonen awesomeness. It's like before Dragon Ball, there was Fist of the North star. I mean, a lot of us found it after, but you know. Like, I got to get my hands on that, too. Because the, the price, I think he said it was like 20 bucks for the whole thing. 25 bucks for like 100-plus episodes. It's obscene. That's a steal. It, it I mean, is. Not so, I mean, <laughs> not, yeah. We, we're, we're supporting the release. It's yeah, if they want to charge 25 bucks, hey, that's on them. I'll, I'll pay 25 bucks for 100-some episodes. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. and that and that'll go into the we'll watch this eventually pile. We oh, were watching uh, we were watching it streaming for for a little bit. I think we got maybe eight episodes into it, and then we stopped. And I thought it was weird. I'm like, why are why are we not watching this anymore? And then this the set shows up one day. I'm like, oh okay, because you got this for mad cheap. Okay. I'm in the same group as you because uh, people always hit me up and say, "Have you seen Daredevil season two? No. Have you seen uh, Jessica Jones? No. Have you seen Game of Thrones? No. Have you seen uh, what's the new one they told me to see? The Stranger Things? No. I was like, I don't have time. I'm just like you. Like I have this pile of things I have to watch, and I want to watch them. I swear I do, but there's just not enough times. There's not enough hours in the day. I wish there was something called like reverse. Retirement. I want to be in retirement now while I'm young. I can watch all these shows. And then when I'm an old person and I can't move around, that's when I want to work. Yeah, but then the companies will like not, they'll be like, ah, oh, we don't need you. You're too yeah, old. You're too I old. Guess. <laughs> I just I want know. to sit around watching stuff all day. <laughs> but I guess I then wouldn't have any money to buy said releases. Right. Uh, we have a conundrum. Well, yeah, I'm in the same boat as you. But, uh, okay, well, thank you again for thank being you. here. No, thanks for being here. And uh, check out Mary on Twitter and Tumblr. I'll put those links down in the description below. And, of course, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section. What do you think about Trunk Stark so far? Mostly positive reviews, I'm sure. I do have a little bit of apprehension about where it's going because, like we talked about, I don't want it to end too soon. But um, so far, so good. And I've been very happy with pretty much every episode they put out. And that's rare because Super's been very on and off for the first half but right now or for the first you know couple arcs but now i think we're in the prime so yeah anyways thank you mary and uh thanks all of you we'll talk to y'all later all right later